is up guys, RZY Rezzy here and I'm gonna teach you guys how to uh motion track efficiently. I mean like my uh my way I motion track. I mean I did this little motion track right here. Um Yeah. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do that. Alright. So what you want to do is Get your cinematic, pre-compose it, right? Make a new composition, whatever, right? Blah blah blah. All that good stuff. So say you would make a new composition, go over here. Right, it's where it starts, it starts ends like right over here somewhere. But um trim comp the work area. See you would I'm not gonna do this with this one, but I'm just gonna delete this. All I did, all this is, is a text saying tutorial, right? Well, you would just insert any text you want right there. Pretty simple, blah, blah, blah. Um, so you would add the 3D camera tracker, right? And it's going to say all that good stuff right there. Um, if you go to advanced, you can click or check this box right here that says detailed ana analysis, right? That is purely your choice if you want to do that. Sometimes it makes it better, sometimes it doesn't. That's um, really per personal preference, right? But the longer your cinematic, the longer it takes. This is like a four second cinematic, so it only it's only going to take me like three minutes, two minutes. So, yeah. I'm going to go back into this one, because I don't feel like waiting that long for that. So, I already did that, blah, 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 right? And I get all these little dots. So, uh, what you want to do is just grab a group of them. All right. Sometimes it doesn't work like that, um, but it helps if you have a whole bunch. And you go to create camera, right? And once that's done, you have your camera. Mine is red. Uh, my text is purple because I wanted to be purple. But yeah. All right. So this, I'm gonna be showing you 3D text. So you're gonna need something called Element 3D. All right. I'm gonna need this Element. It's by Video Copilot. So you guys should uh, go get that. Uh, what you're going to do is go to custom layers, custom text and mask, and you're going to put in uh, the text layer, which I, it is called tutorial. Uh, and you're going to go to scene setup, extrude, and then once you have extruded your text, see it's 3D and whatnot, blah blah blah. Uh, you can go to presets. Now there's bevels that you can use. I if I use a bevel, I would use the gold rim one and then fix them up, or any one of them really. I would use any one of them and just fix them up if I use them. Well, I do use them, but um, sometimes you can just go to Pro Shaders. Or well, this is a Pro Shader pack by Video Copilot, so you guys should go download that because I I am starting to use this a lot more. I'm gonna use the concrete one because I used it in the tutorial. See, it's nice. Blah, blah, blah. Um, once you're done with that, you're going to go to OK. And as you can see, the text isn't really where you want it to be. It's, it's right there, but you want it to be like over here or some shit. So what you would do is you would go to Group 1, since it's in Group 1. Right? And you have your X, your Y, and your Z. Right? If you know your X and Y from algebra right this goes left and right this goes up and down and Z spaces back and forth notice how when you push it back it it gets smaller because think of the camera being right here right and the text is getting further away from you right 
That's the idea with the Zeke space. Um, I'll push it back a bit more and move it over. Now, to work with the size so that it's not that small, what you want to do is you're going to go to particle look, right? Click that arrow, and then you can mess with the size. Put that to fifth. Uh, I mean, like, since it's pretty far back, I should say, I would probably put this at like 30. Maybe a bit bigger, 45. Yeah, 40. So most of this, most of this is like personal preference. Uh, it's purely, purely what you guys uh, think is, looks best. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna mess with the rotation so it it looks like it's straight and matches up with the uh, with the plane. And, uh, there we go. There we go. So, as you can see, it's tracked right there where I want it to be, and you can just do that, but I'm probably going to start the track from like right here, so that's it, but that's not all I want to do with this. So, what you can do to add certain, um, I don't know, extra to it, you can go to multi-object, it's also in part, it's in part of look, part of look, multi-object, click enable. Right, and what you do is mess with the displace. Uh, I don't want to go that far. Uh, the displace random, the rotation random that rotates all of them and it at a different angle. Um, I work with the you can work with the Z, X, or Y that. It really doesn't matter. Um, personally, I'm not going to work with that because I don't see that being necessary in this. And what you're going to do is you're going to keyframe it. So, keyframe everything that you had right here, right? And put them all to zero. Right, you can press U to only see those keyframes. Right, and what I like to do is I like to make it more random and just fuck around with settings. And after that, you can easy use this F9, or if you're on a Mac, it's F and F9. So, yeah. Uh, as you can see that's tracked nicely and that's how you would track motion but you can also add a bit more to this so what helps is if you uh, duplicate the cinematic right once my Mac is uh, fucking done being retarded I usually delete this the, the camera tracker effect inside uh, to add the cinematic and you go to time freeze frame this works very well when you add a chrome texture or a black texture right works very well very well right and what you would do is you would uh you freeze frame it you go to element right go to the effects and controls close group one 
uh, you go to custom texture maps, right? And I'm gonna rename this one. So, I'm gonna call it freeze because that's the freeze frame that I'm using. And um, it goes by the layer, like what's on top. So the element is on the top, um, the tutorial text is below it, the camera tracker, um, it doesn't use that because it's uh, what makes it 3D space and it has the cinematic and the freeze frame. I'm going to click the freeze frame and I'm going to go back into scene setup and environment and you're going to click it and then click this arrow and then you have that. You don't see it right here but if you click environment like that you will see it. And what that does is it makes different lighting. As I said, it works better with Chrome text. Uh, so I'll give you an example of how it looks with Chrome text. Scene, uh, presets, materials, Chrome. As I said, uh, I'll just show you how it looks without it and how it looks with it real quick. Ah, so I have to go. Um, custom layers, I'm going to take that off. None. And as you can see, it's black and everything. But as soon as I put this on freeze, it gets really, really nice and clean like that. So yeah, that's how you would 3D track inside After Effects with 3D text. Uh, I guess next time I'll do 2D text and different things you can do with 2D text. So I'm um, always wear red, always wear red and easy, and I'm out. Peace.